By the end of the last video, we have completed the process of modeling the structure. Now we can move to the second part of this series, which is analyzing. We start by defining load combinations. Go to loads, and from there, we have two options, manual combinations and automatic combinations. For this time, we will use automatic combinations. Okay, and we have to generate them from here. And select them all. Then generate. So this is the combinations table. So far we have defined dot types and the values of loads and also we have defined load combinations. So we can start analyzing. So from here analysis type you can see that the types of loads that we have are dead load 1 that accounts for self weight, dead load 2 for other loads, and life load 1. And all of these loads are wind loads. You can see that there is a sign of positive or negative beside the load type. And that indicates that there is a positive and negative pressure on the structure caused by the wind. At this time, we don't have to change anything, so close this window. To start the analysis, just click here. So far, we have completed the analysis. To review analysis results, go to results and from here diagram for bars and as you see here we have the forces and the moments along and around x y z we take fx as an example for the normal force then we go to parameters field uh, differentiated and labels then apply go to the from view and from here click on normalize then apply turn off section shapes to see the results clearly and also turn off the panel interiors let's check out the values and the shape of my moment click here and uncheck this one then apply So this is the moment shape, you can see, the, see it from the front view and normalize and the highest value is 66.63. The last thing that we have to check out is the reactions. So go to reactions, but before that make sure that everything here is unchecked, then go to reactions and from there so this, these are the reactions that we have and if you focus you will notice that the value of the reaction in this column is 15.98 is the same as the one in the other direction that means this one and that's because the structure is symmetry and the case is also the same for the interior items you have other options here for example you can review stresses and deformations and reinforcement and that's it for now
you can get tables containing everything related to the analysis of the structure results for example forces and these are the forces in the three directions that means in the direction of x and y and z and you have the values of moments the same thing we have tables for stresses these values can be used to compare the manual solution to the one that you will get from the software so this is the end of this video I hope you understand it and enjoyed it Thanks for watching.